Now a local four update on a pretty messy situation on Detroit's west side. We showed you this yesterday, but some cars still stuck in that frozen flood caused by a water main break at Collingwood and Homer streets. A tow truck tried to move one of the cars out earlier today, but quickly realized it needed heavier equipment. Crews are still trying to repair that water main, but it probably won't be fixed until this weekend. The city's been dealing with breaks all over the place because of the frigid temperatures. We'll take you back to that scene live for an update coming up tonight at 5. A horrible discovery this morning at a building run by the Detroit Public Lighting Department. The bodies of two men were found electrocuted at the building on the 6600 block of Raymond Avenue. A power outage led to the deadly discovery, which is now raising a number of questions. Local Fort Sean Lay working that story for us tonight. We are learning more about what happened here. Investigators telling me it was an incredibly grisly scene inside this brick building. That is a Detroit public lighting substation. At four this morning, that station went dark, triggering an alert downtown. A technician came out to find the door to the station was pried open with a crowbar. Inside, he found two men in their 20s or 30s had been electrocuted after coming into contact with a 24,000 volt line. One of the men was touching the other. Both were killed instantly. This was a horrific event. For whatever reason it is, it's just not good. Live at 5 o'clock, who were these men? And where does the police investigation go from here? All right, Sean, Detroit community leaders are reminding everyone to celebrate safely this New Year's with the annual Bells Not a Bang campaign. The safety push started in 1997 when Sandra Latham was shot while celebrating the New Year with her family. A stray bullet killed her while she was sitting at her dining room table. That's when community leaders started encouraging people to stop shooting guns at midnight and ring bells instead. They say it's much safer and it sounds much more festive. Can you imagine whether you had jingle bells or sleigh bells or doorbells? If every neighbor came out and rang the bell and that sounds of a new time, a new year, a, a renewing of spirit. All community members are hoping the downward trend of using gunfire to celebrate the new year continues. If you're heading uh, downtown this weekend, the Q line will be offering rides until 2 a.m. to help you get home safely. In the new year, it will have extended hours running until midnight, Monday through Thursday. Fridays and Saturdays, the queue line will run till 2 a.m. and Sundays till 11 p.m. Uh, keep that in mind whenever you're heading downtown.